Grace and peace, and welcome to Believer's Ministries, Five Minutes of Faith, where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us for about five minutes as we take excerpts from our guest speaker, Minister Doreen Dawkins from Raymond Christian Center. God bless. Today's subject is the season of rain. Our main scripture focus will be Matthew chapter 5, verse 45. And it reads, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. Now, we were children, sometimes people would say that little thing, rain, rain, go away, come back another day. And some adults sing that too. <laughs> Time to go play golf. Rain, rain. Go away. Come back another day. And a lot of times we have a negative attitude for rain. Come to work on a Monday morning. Oh, it's just raining. I'm tired. <laughs> raining into the job. But the seasons and the times of rain are necessary and have purpose. The third purpose for the season of rain is it helps with droughts and it puts moisture in the air. Now, I don't know if you ever lived through a drought, but I have. It is hot as fire during a drought. I was in my 20s and we had a drought in Columbus, you know, you couldn't water your lawn and mm -hmm. stuff. So it was a week here. And then I had um, a summer internship, so I went to Atlanta. And a, and a drought in Atlanta is a little different than the drought in Columbus. <laughs> I mean, you had a relaxer, but everybody was wearing curly back. I mean, you know, you start off straight. And at the end of the day, woo! Then I came back, and it wasn't ready to cost whole fun. You talked about somebody in a different shade than they are. <laughs> Your skin changes colors. And uh, at the time, I'm thankful for the car I had, but everybody knows I had a little Honda CRV with no air conditioning with black vinyl seats. And my job was in Dublin. So I start off, and you know you wear something white thinking that's gonna be cooler. It wasn't so bad going to work. Oh, Father, coming back home. What about talking in the parking lot either? John, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh no, it's too hot. You try to hydrate, drink before you get in the car. I would get out that car, clothes sticking to you. <laughs> But that's just the way it is in the drum. You can't concentrate on nothing. Now, I know this probably ain't the truth, but we were told as children, if you sit there and be quiet, it'll be cooler. <laughs> <laughs> sit there and shut up. I won't say sit there and shut up. <laughs> there, be quiet. And you know, even as, at a 20-something year old, I was sitting in that house, being quiet, hoping it'd be cooler. Now, bless the Lord, we didn't have no central air, like some of y'all, you know, got central air now. But we had two air conditioning units. And the one air conditioning, and guess where they worked? The air conditioning unit was not in my bedroom. No, Lord. There was one air conditioning unit that I had access to in the family room. And then, you know, they had them little, uh, them little folding doors. And you almost want to choke somebody if they had to go to the bathroom or something to get out the room because it let in all that hot air. <laughs> the drought. Mm -hmm. And many times, you again, you can concentrate on nothing but the heat. Mm -hmm. So that's a dry time. And sometimes we feel like we're in a drought, a, a place of spiritual need. Mm -hmm. At times, it seems like that's all we can concentrate on, our disappointment, our place of grief, what we're going through, all the stuff that's going on around us, a drought. But we have to realize that all seasons are part of life. And just because we're living for Jesus doesn't mean that everything's just going to be utopia. Isn't that wonderful? I just, ah, uh, it's just wonderful. I'm just basking in the presence of the Lord. That's true. But everything don't always work out the way we think it should work out. If you always getting taken on the get rich quick scheme, maybe you ought to work the principles of the Bible and stop trying to 
Now let's see, if I do this pyramid and then it, oh Lord, they done took my money. Well, that's illegal. Mm -hmm. So we got to watch what we sow because that's what we're going to reap. Yeah. If we sow the spirit of God, we reap life everlasting. Mm -hmm. We reap all that God promised us. Mm -hmm. And then if we don't faint or get tired, because it's easy to get tired in real doing. Because it's just human nature. You keep doing the same, the right things for year after year and, and don't seem like you getting blessed the way you think you should be getting blessed, and then you want to start taking shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Be like sister, thank you, blessed. Well, shortcuts have some consequences. Mm -hmm. For those who are doing the right thing, don't get tired. Keep going. And don't compare yourself to the underachiever or anything else. Be the best you you can be in the Lord. Keep going. We hope that you were encouraged by the word today. We want to extend a cordial invitation for you to come out and be in service with us. We're located at 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E in Gahanna, Ohio. For more information on our service times, please visit our website at www.believersministries.net. We hope to see you soon. God bless.